Devadatta. At that time, the Buddha addressed the bodhisattvas, the human and heavenly beings, and the four groups, saying, Through innumerable eons in the past, I tirelessly sought the Dharma Flower Sutra. Throughout those many eons, I was a king who vowed to seek unexcelled awakening. Never faltering and wanting to become fully developed in the six transcendental practices, the king diligently and unstintingly gave alms, not sparing his body or life. For the sake of the Dharma, he gave up his kingdom and throne, left the government to the crown prince, sounded drums, and sent proclamations in all directions, seeking the Dharma, and saying, For the rest of my life, I will be the provider and servant for anyone who can teach me the great vehicle. Then a seer came to the king and said, I have a great vehicle sutra named the Lotus Flower of the Wonderful Dharma. If you will obey me, I will explain it for you. Hearing what the seer said, the king became ecstatic with joy and immediately went with him, providing for his needs, gathering fruit, drawing water, collecting firewood, laying out his food, yet never feeling tired physically or emotionally. He diligently provided for the seer, so he would lack nothing. Thus, the king of a great land, by diligently seeking, obtained this dharma, and finally became a Buddha. Therefore, I now teach it to you. The Buddha said to all the monks, The king at that time was me, and the seer was the present Devadatta. Because Devadatta was a good friend to me, I was able to become fully developed in the six transcendental practices, in kindness, compassion, joy, and impartiality. I developed the four kinds of freedom from fear, the four social teachings, and the powers of the divine way that I have attained impartial, proper awakening and saved many of the living is due to my good friend Devadatta. I declare to all the four groups that Devadatta will become a Buddha whose name will be Heavenly King Tathagata, one worthy of offerings, truly awakened, fully clear in conduct, well gone, understanding the world, unexcelled leader, teacher of heavenly beings and people, Buddha, world-honored one. His world will be named Heaven's Way. After the complete nirvana of heavenly King Buddha, the true Dharma will dwell in his world for 20, 20 intermediate eons. The remains of his entire body will be put in a stupa of the seven precious materials, sixty leagues high and forty leagues in length and width. All the human and heavenly beings with various flowers, powdered incense, incense for burning, paste incense, robes, garlands, banners, flags, jeweled canopies, and music and song will respectfully greet and make offerings to the wonderful stupa of the precious materials. Innumerable living beings will enjoy being arhats. Incalculable numbers of living beings will become awakened as Pratyeka Buddhas, and inconceivable numbers of the living will aspire to become awakened and reach the stage of never backsliding. The Buddha then said to the monks, in the future, if there are any good sons or good daughters who, hearing this Devadatta chapter of the wonderful Dharma Flower Sutra, faithfully respect it with pure hearts and are free from doubt, they will not fall into a purgatory or become a hungry spirit or a beast, but will be born into the presence of the Buddhas of the Ten Directions. Wherever they are born, they will always hear this sutra. If they are born among human or heavenly beings, they will enjoy marvelous delights. And if they are reborn in the presence of a Buddha, 
they will be born by transformation from lotus flowers. Then, a bodhisattva from a lower region, named Accumulated Wisdom, an attendant of Abundant Treasures, the world-honored one, said to Abundant Treasures, Let us return to our homeland. But Shakyamuni Buddha said to Accumulated Wisdom, Good man, wait a while. There is a bodhisattva here named Manjusri. You should meet him and discuss the wonderful Dharma with him, and then return to your homeland. Then Manjusri, sitting on a thousand-petaled lotus flower as large as a carriage wheel, accompanied by bodhisattvas who had come with him also sitting on treasured lotus flowers, emerged naturally from the palace of Sagara Dragon King in the Great Ocean. Suspended in the air, he went to Holy Eagle Peak, got down from his lotus flower, went before the Buddha, and reverently prostrated himself at the feet of the two world-honored ones. When he had expressed his respect, he went over to Accumulated Wisdom, and after they had exchanged greetings, they withdrew and sat to one side. Accumulated Wisdom Bodhisattva asked Manjusri, When you were at the Dragon Palace, how many beings did you convert? Manjusri responded, The number of them is innumerable, incalculable. It cannot be expressed in words or fathomed by the mind. Just wait a moment and there will be proof. And before he had finished speaking, innumerable bodhisattvas sitting on treasured lotus flowers emerged from the ocean and went to Holy Eagle Peak, where they were suspended in the air. All these bodhisattvas had been transformed and delivered by Manjusri. They had done bodhisattva practice and together discussed the six transcendental practices. Then Manjusri said, to accumulated wisdom. This is the result of my teaching and converting in the ocean. Accumulated wisdom bodhisattva then praised him in verse. With great wisdom, virtue, courage, and strength, you have transformed and delivered innumerable beings. Now those in this great assembly and I myself have seen them. Manjusri replied, what I always proclaimed when I was in the ocean was only the wonderful Dharma Flower Sutra. Accumulated Wisdom Bodhisattva asked Manjusri, This sutra is very profound, fine, and wonderful, the jewel of all the sutras, a rare thing in the world. Is there any living being who, diligently and devotedly practicing this sutra, can quickly become a Buddha? Manjusri replied, There is the daughter of the dragon king, Sagara. Just eight years old, she is wise and has sharp faculties and is well acquainted with the faculties and actions of living beings. She has mastered incantations. She has been able to receive and embrace all the profound inner core treasures preached by the Buddhas. She has entered deeply into meditation and gained an understanding of all things. Within a moment, she aspired to become awakened and reached the stage of never backsliding. Her eloquence knows no bounds and she has compassion for all the living as if they were her own children. She is full of blessings, and the thoughts in her mind and the explanations from her mouth are both subtle and great. Compassionate and respectful of others, kind and gentle, she is able to attain awakening. Accumulated Wisdom Bodhisattva said, I have seen how Shakyamuni Tathagata carried out arduous and difficult practices for innumerable eons, accumulating blessings and piling up virtue by following the way of the Bodhisattva without resting. I have observed that 
in the three thousand great thousand-fold world, there is not even a spot as small as a mustard seed where he has not laid down body and life as a bodhisattva for the sake of the living. Only after that did he attain the path of the awakened. It is unbelievable that this girl, in an instant, can become truly awakened. But before he had finished talking, the daughter of the Dragon King suddenly appeared, and after reverently prostrating herself at the Buddha's feet, withdrew to one side, praising him in verse. Profound in insight into the nature of good and evil, he illuminates the universe. His fine and wonderful pure Dharma body has the 32 characteristics. Human and heavenly beings look up to him, and all kinds of living beings hold him in reverence. Having heard him, I can become awakened. Only the Buddha can bear witness to this. I will reveal the teaching of the great vehicle to save beings from suffering. Then Shariputra said to the dragon girl, You think that in no time at all you will attain the unexcelled way? This is hard to believe. How could you attain unexcelled awakening? The Buddha way is long and extensive. Only after innumerable eons of enduring hardship, accumulating good works, and thoroughly carrying out all the practices can it be reached. Then the dragon girl took a precious jewel that she had with her, worth as much as a three thousand great thousand fold world, and presented it to the Buddha. The Buddha immediately accepted it. The dragon girl then said to accumulated wisdom bodhisattva and the venerable Shariputra, I present my precious jewel and the world honored one accepted it. Was that not done quickly? Most quickly, they answered. The daughter told them, Use your holy powers to watch me become a Buddha even more quickly than that. Then the entire congregation saw the dragon girl instantly take up bodhisattva practice and immediately go to the world named Spotless, where, sitting on a precious lotus blossom, she attained impartial, proper awakening. With the 32 characteristics and 80 different attractive features, she proclaimed the wonderful Dharma to all living beings everywhere in the universe. Then, from afar, the bodhisattvas, shravakas, gods, dragons in the Eightfold Assembly, humans and non-humans in this world, watch the dragon girl become a Buddha and teach the Dharma to all the gods and people in the assembly. Their hearts filled with great joy. They paid their respects from afar. Hearing the Dharma, countless living beings were able to understand it and reach the stage of never backsliding. The countless multitude also received assurance of attaining the way. The world spotless trembled and shook in six ways. Three thousand living beings in this world reached the stage of never backsliding, while three thousand living beings aspired to become awakened and obtained assurance of doing so. Accumulated Wisdom Bodhisattva and Shariputra and the whole congregation silently believed and accepted this.